Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as a sub title, we will be talking about products that I'm just not going to buy in the year of 2021. Um, so this is kind of like a version of a low buy or no buy, um, stuff like that, but we'll talk about it. Um, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's just get started. So um, again, this is kind of like a version of a no buy, but it's not really a no buy because it's like, I'm not gonna be keeping track of it or anything. This is what I'm just gonna be like telling myself I can't use and stuff like that. So it's not really like a official low buy, but I mean an official no buy, but it, are, it is products that I'm saying like, there's no way I can buy these. I actually split this uh, video, uh, like split these, wow, well, split this thing into three different parts. So I have products that I'm not going to buy in 2021. Then I have products that I shouldn't buy. And then products that I shouldn't buy, but I definitely will buy, you know? So. Um, I thought it would be fun to talk about those as well, just so I wasn't talking about complete nose. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First things first is um, the nose, like a heck nose. So first is no loose powder. And I've actually kept this um, for a couple months in the last year as well. No loose powder, I can't buy pow loose powders. I have literally so many and I just don't use them a lot and I don't love all of them. You know, loose powders is just not really like my thing, if you will. Um, I like of what I like and then that's that. Like I am very picky about my loose powders. So that's why I do have so many because I've been trying, wanting to try more and stuff like that. And you know, that's, you know, why I accumulated so much, but I need to just not. I'm like, now I know like, you know, no matter what the setting powder is, most of the time they're just gonna be too dry for my dry skin. And so I really wanna stick to what I like. I love the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I love this complex culture one. I really like my Tarte one. And like, that's really all I need. I, and I honestly need like only one <laughs> loose powder at a time. So I kind of like, uh, one of those things like i really just want to get this collection down before i'm buying more and i do like a lot of the setting powders that i have now which is why i haven't decluttered them um because i do enjoy them if you will like i do like using them and i don't want to get rid of them but or like give them away even and so that's why i'm keeping them but i really want to use them up and not bring any more in at least not for now <laughs> um i think next is no bronzer i literally I went crazy at bronzer last year, um, especially over the summer. I literally bought like six different bronzers in one month. <laughs> okay, not one month, but you know what I mean? Like in like the three months of summer. And so they're too dark for me, number one. They're too dark for me right now, which sucks because I didn't think about like my shade when I'm light skin. <laughs> and um, I just have so many. I cannot bring any more bronzers in. Bronzers in. And this one's going to be a little bit harder for me, uh, harder than loose powder because I do really love bronzer, but I feel like... I have so many. I have shimmery ones. I have matte ones. You know, I have drugstore high. I have everything. I have one from anything I need. I have a dollar one from the dollar uh, from Shop Masse. Like I have everything I would, could think of. So I don't think I need any more. Um, and I'm not including like this is not no bronzers even like in a um, palette. Like if I buy a face palette that has a bronzer, that's fine because I count my face palettes a little separately. But I really just don't want to buy single bronzers at all. And again, this, that doesn't include cream bronzers either because I don't have a huge cream bronzer collection and I don't typically buy too many of those, you know what I mean? So it's okay. Um, next is no, uh, well, let's go with this one. No cream highlighter. So this one's kind of an obvious one, that one that I probably just won't buy because I don't enjoy buying it, you know what I mean? Like it's not a restraint for me. It's not a hard thing for me. I just don't use cream highlighter. I have three and I don't use any of them. So I need to get those out definitely and not bring any in um, at all. So... It's, that one's okay though because I don't feel like like oh no like you know what I mean I don't care uh, um, so no cream highlighter um, next is no skin care and um, this one is like a weird one but what always happens is um, I get skincare a lot in my Ipsy bags and stuff and then I'm using it consistently I have a good routine going then I have to switch out whatever that's fine and then I stop getting uh, skincare in my Ipsy's or skincare that I want to use like sometimes they'll send me like some skincare for people with oily skin and like stuff like that that I don't particularly want to use or am not going to use so I end up giving it away whatever then I have no skincare then I buy some from the store and then I get a bunch again so it's like I keep going back like I always go and then I, now I have so much I literally have well I'll post it put in a picture but I literally have so much skincare for no good reason and I just don't use it enough um so and that includes like everything like moisturizers um uh, toners uh uh face washes everything the whole nine spfs I don't need to buy them. I get them enough in subscription boxes. There's no need. For it. Next category is shouldn't. 
but and I might not I should I, I'm restraining I'm telling myself that I can't but I'm making no promises like I'm pretty I'm like 95% positive I'm not gonna buy any bronzers or setting powders this year or cream highlighters or skincare like those I'm pretty positive I won't but this is like I, I can't promise no promises but I'm gonna try <laughs> um so this is first this highlighter I just have so many I have a bunch of Ofra highlighters I have some highlighter duos I have some other singles that I just love and so I feel like there's no need for me to buy bring in so many highlighters because I have so many and then highlighters is something like as much as I'm you know you keep a painting blush is really hard painting bronzers all that's really really hard but like painting highlighters girl whole nother ball game <laughs> and so i just i can't do it and i don't do it and so there's no reason for me to have so many i think this is one that maybe one day you know if i declutter enough or like you know get enough out of my collection then i'll bring more in at, this year at least but for now i have like six over highlighters i have three other highlighters like i have so many highlighters there's no need for me to keep bringing in more um especially because the ones i have i really really love so i really love to use them and then i never get to use them because i have so many you know so i just don't want to bring any more in um, same thing with cream blush. I don't I have a, a high number. I have a lot of cream blushes, but I um, Really do like them. The thing is that with for me with cream blushes I hate it because I almost feel like there's no point to it And if I'm gonna wear cream blush, I want to wear the cream blush You know, I want to see the shade of the cream blush But I often have to layer it because then I want to use you know, I have to use more products, you know So it's kind of sucks. It's like one of those things that's weird but I feel like I have so many cream highlighters already. I just don't need any more. And I don't use the ones that I have the way I want to use them. So it's like there's no need to bring in more. The reason why it's like hard for me is because I really love cream blush. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that looks delicious. <laughs> and so I always want to try it and stuff like that. And it's really hard for me to like say no. So I have to try. I have to try. Uh, next is. I know I wrote in a weird order, but next is brushes. I don't want to buy any more brushes. I literally have so many brushes. I have probably like three blushes for every step of my makeup, if not more, for some categories. Like, um, I have like 12, okay, I don't have 12, but I have like eight stippling brushes. So no good reason, I mean, I love them, I do use them, and I, I do wash, I don't wash my brushes, like not to say that I don't wash them often, I wash them often, but I don't have to wash them often because I have so many, and so I love that because I'm like, oh, well, I'll just use like the clean one, you know? Um, but I feel like, and the, if I feel like I cut down on my collection, I'm gonna have to wash them a lot more, and I hate that, so that's why I keep buying them, but I don't need to buy any more. I get enough, again, in subscription boxes. Um, and even at the end of the day, if I got no more brushes for the entire year, I'd be okay. <laughs> I just don't need to buy them. Again, it's hard for me because it's one of those things that's like, oh, you see it and you're like, oh, I'm going to buy it. Or you're like, it's just an eyeshadow brush. Like, I want to buy it. But I'm like, now I have 50 just eyeshadow brushes, you know? So um, I want to cool it on that. Um, brow products. I think this is the one that's going to be hard for me because I really do like brow, brow, getting buying brow products because it's like a, seems like a, what is the harmless category where it's like, um, yeah, but like I can use up my brow pencil. So I'm like, yeah, well, now you have 13 to use up. So you're going to have to do something about that. Um, I definitely want to restrain myself, I think, a little bit at least um, in this category. But uh, like I want to use up some, then bring more in. I think the problem with brow products is usually... Again, it seems like a harmless category, so if I'm trying to do a full face of something, I'll just buy a brow product if I need it because it's, you know, it does, I, I can use them up and it seems harmless, if you will, but I need to, like, say, like, no. You know, you don't have it, so then don't do the video or, you know, do the video and not worry about that you didn't have a brow product, you know? So, one of those hard things, but, um, yeah, I think... Something else I shouldn't buy, I might buy, you know, tempted lipsticks. I think lipstick, bullet lipsticks. I have so many bullet lipsticks. Um, well, I have so many bullet lipsticks and I feel like, you know, I just don't use them enough to justify having 30. <laughs> I have so many and I just want to be able to rotate. I want to find a better way of rotating through them before I bring any more in, if even if I, even if I do ever. And I think, like... Some of them I've worn once and then that's it. Like, how, how do you do that too? How do you do that? I have no idea. How do you get so bad that you use one product once and then that's it? You know, that's crazy. And so I definitely shouldn't buy any more lipsticks. Again, it's not an official no because I know myself and I know sometimes they just look so good and you're just like, oh, but I need to buy it. And you know, um, I don't want to say no and then like do it and then be like, oh no, you know? So I'm just warning you that it should not happen, but it might. <laughs> Um, next is liquid shadows. Again, same thing. These are, these get me because they're so cute and I don't have a big liquid shadow collection. So again, it seems almost harmless because I'm like, well, I only have five, 
so it's fine. I can bring one more in once five to six, you know, but then it becomes five to six, six to seven, seven, eight, eight, seven, nine to ten, and then I have this huge collection. I'm like, I don't know what to do with all of you. <laughs> so um, I really just don't want to buy any more uh, liquid shadows. Um, I have some that I really, really like, and I barely use them. And I use them once, and that's it. Because, you know, liquid shadows are hard to use all the time. And I have so many eyeshadow palettes that's like, I, you know. So, um, I definitely want a cool bit on liquid shadows. Um, single shadows, same deal. Like, I kind of put, could have put them together. Single shadows, I just, I just don't use them enough to justify having a lot. Especially single, like, matte shadows. If it's in a palette, I'm using it. I'm not going to use the brown single that I have, you know. So, I need to just not buy any more. And I don't think I will. Um, that one could just be a straight up no but you know so you never know so i was like hmm, we'll see because sometimes i go through phases where i'm like single shadows <laughs> um uh, and then this last category is products that i shouldn't buy but i definitely will <laughs> like there's no way around it and i really shouldn't because my collection's already huge but i definitely will buy it um first thing is foundation i should not bring any more foundations in but literally i want them all so bad there's four foundations that i wanted um in january four foundations uh, well, five, technically five, because I wanted the Wet n Wild one, but I bought that one. And then I wanted the Catrice, the Essence, the Physician Formula, and the new Sephora one. And so even like like right when February hit, I was like, I'm buying the new Catrice one. Well, actually, it was at the end of January because Sephora, uh, Ulta's 20%, they had a 20% off coupon that was ending. So I was like, oh, I got to get it now. <laughs> so I did, and I'm counting it toward my February uh, foundation. Um, so this category, the products that I shouldn't buy, but definitely will. Mostly they're restrained. They're restrained now, but I'm kind of giving myself that leeway. So I'm saying one foundation a month if I really like am like this, like the way I am now. Um, one foundation a month. So again, I bought the Wet n Wild one that month, the, uh, the Catrice this month. And then hopefully, you know, I stick to one next month as well. I think I will, you know, we'll see which one that ends up being. But um I shouldn't buy anymore because I have so many, but I just, I can't not, you know? Um, same with concealer. I literally have so many concealers. And the thing with concealer is that I really like what I like and that's that. And I don't know why I love to test them out because I know that I'm not going to like <laughs> most of them or I'm going to like kind of like them and still like my favorites better. So like, who cares? So I'm like, why am I buying them? So I need to, like, I really need to not, but you know, they look so good. Although concealer though isn't, there's not as many that are interesting to me as foundations. Concealer, the only one that I really want right now is the Hourglass Mini one because people really like that. I really don't think I'm gonna like it, which is why I haven't bought it yet, but it's one of those that like, I really want for no good reason. So I'm good, I should be okay with concealer, but we'll see. And then eyeshadow palettes. Again, I have a restriction on eyeshadow palettes. Well, this whole category is like kind of just one for the month and that's it. Um, eyeshadow palettes, I can only buy one again a month and I don't know if I'm gonna be even do that. I didn't buy one in January, so hopefully I don't buy one in February either. I'm gonna try my hardest not to because I've been really liking rotating my collection and using the palettes that I've used once and that's it that are sitting in my collection, you know. I've been enjoying that. And then I do get palettes in my um, Ipsy bags, so I don't wanna double up because of Ipsy, you know. I know that we're getting, we got one last month in Glam Bag Plus. I know we're getting one in the Glam Bag X this month, and so I don't want to bring in two extra palettes in a month. And so I think like, I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to only bring in one, including Ipsy, if you will. Like most of the other categories aren't really counting Ipsy because I can't pick normally what I get, but I do like getting it. So it's kind of like whatever, but like extra palettes, if I know I'm gonna get one or if I get it early enough that I know I'm gonna get one, <laughs> um, then I won't buy one or I'll try not to buy one. I shouldn't because I have so many, but you know. Same with lip glosses. I literally did not realize how many lip glosses I had until I did my end of the year inventory and I had like a quadrillion and it's just a lot for me. I just don't know why, especially because I had like half of them were clear glosses like Marissa. There's no reason for it and I just went ham for no good reason. And so um, I need to not buy uh, lip glosses again. I probably will because I love glosses so much. I love lip glosses. And like... They, they, they're just like they speak to my soul <laughs> and so um yeah i probably will um okay guys so that's basically it for this video i hope you guys liked it um basically all the other collections in all the other categories in my collections are fair game blush i use powder blush i feel like i'm really good about them i just i love them and i love but i know what i like a lot and so i don't buy too many and then like same with a lot of other categories like that mascara i kind of go through liners whatever lip liners fine liquid lipsticks fine so and tight spray super fine <laughs> so um i don't know i just 
the other categories I feel like are all right. I really want to um, stick to this, try my best to buy as little makeup as possible. I did really good in January. I think if I keep it up in February, then it's like, that's going to be a good uh, dictator of, uh, dictator, is that the word? I don't know. It's going to be a good, like, direction for the rest of the year if I can make it through February, because then I know two months we're doing great. I know the summer always gets me bad because it's my birthday. My birthday's in June, and, like, I feel so free. I'm like, yes, I get this, you know, it takes me to the store a lot more. It takes me to Ulta a lot more because it's so warm and stuff like that, and so the summer's worth that, so I'm going to hope, I'm going to try to, like, be, be good for February, uh, March, April, and then like when it starts to get May, June, July, then maybe I'm gonna let myself off the hinges a little bit, but hopefully I can get all my collection under wraps first, then, you know, splurge. Um, not splurge, but you know what I mean. The quote for today is, keep going, everything you need will come to you at the perfect time. And it's so true, God just like reveals himself at the best times and it's so perfect. And he's been doing it in my life these past few weeks and I've been, you know, I don't know, I feel like a, I keep telling my friend, I'm like, not to be a holy roller, but, <laughs> you know, God this, God this. And he's just been showing himself in crazy ways. And, um, you know, just keep going because whatever is going to happen is going to happen on time and perfect to God's timing. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.